his name. Brought to you by Burger King, where we do it like you do it. Ready for action, and now match officially underway. And I'll say this, this match literally exploded from the opening gun without a doubt going for the quick win. It remains Memphis here tonight. Going right on the attack, I think that's a mistake, man. I'd stay away from this guy. This is going to be some sensational matchup here. This should be a great matchup, McMahon. You got two guys in here that can wrestle. I'll tell you what. Certainly, we've had our share of excitement thus far, and this is bound to be a very exciting matchup. I, I thought we were going to see a scientific wrestling match. It certainly is a starting out that way. One. There's no love lost between two. Houston. No, that's for sure. All right, Jesse, who has the advantage? Get the match a little bit more here. Let's see. My goodness, just look at this! Hammering away. What a three-saw matchup! Well, it started off a wrestling match, and now it's turning into a fight. Again and again and again. I don't think that thing's around the other way that he would be pouring it on. Well, certainly, he'd go off the win. Wow, what a matchup. Come on, ref, get in there. Oh, punching. Or at least that's all he's demonstrated here thus far. Well, maybe that was his game plan. Strictly a rough house match. Maybe he feels that by roughing the match up, it's to his advantage to gain the victory. Well, this is a free for all. You know, I like this. Yeah. Because you can't complain about it. And that's legal. Yes, indeed. You can't complain. Having some degree of difficulty here in this matchup. Well, I knew it would be a great matchup. I mean, the guy's credentials speak for themselves as a winner. The Rusper relies on tremendous agility and great speed, notwithstanding his extraordinary stamina. And I don't believe he's impressed at all. Well, I'll tell you what, there's been a precedent set here now. Obviously, this is the stronger man, so he's going to have to rely now on quickness and technique in which to secure a victory. He's not going to outmuscle, he's showed that right there. He's a oh, the stronger man. Maybe right now he's the stronger man as the match progresses. I wonder how much of that strength will be sapped from his body. Oh, definitely. Another sensational maneuver. Remarkable. I didn't think he had it in it. That's pretty hard. That's a chiropractic adjustment to higher time. I've never seen that done before quite like that. And if I haven't seen it, I know for sure you ain't. Have it. Not me. I know this is trivial, trivial, McMahon, but this is cable. I can say eight. Oh, boy. That's the second time you've offended the youth of America. And you know the great thing about it? You can expect anything. Right now, I think you're, you're really in some trouble. I could tell him how to get out of this, McMahon. Works every time. A quick thumb to the eye. Oh, you spin on. the man around when the ref can't see it, and you thumb him. Come on, we have youngsters watching this program. Thumb to the eye, indeed. Well, that's a smart move to use everything available to you. Smart. Which is what he needs and wants to do. These are tough. I mean, really tough. Now he's roughed it up. Now he's going back to some classic moves. And now you're seeing smart wrestling. Oh. And that's legal look, man. It's interesting, and I believe thus far has proven himself to be the aggressor in this match. But I don't know that that's the way that we normally would have expected this match thus far. Well, it's hard to tell, you know, in the world of wrestling, Two. much like the old cliche Three. of football, on any given day, oh, yeah. and a different wrestler can beat another different wrestler. You see that? That was just about as good as the thumb to the eye, didn't it?
the opponent. Well, it works both ways. Nevertheless, it's from Jimmy Hart. Bad luck, Ralph. You gotta give Jimmy Hart credit, though, McMahon, for getting so actively involved in his wrestler's match. Illegally, actively involved. Eagle, Eagle, what's the difference? One, two, sensational two, Sherry, or Sherry to Elizabeth. Three, three. I love it because Sherry four. is deadly. You know, she's the former Five. women's champion. So she can get in there and mix it up. She can do that all right. She must be about 150 pounds. Sherry is an asset, McMahon. She gets more involved in the match. She's in tough shape, McMahon. Yeah, my heart bleeds for her. It ought to. You know what's great about her, McMahon? You could definitely walk down a dark alley with sensational Sherry. Yeah, she'd scare her down to that. In a lot of instances, the lady wrestlers at times, McMahon, seem even more vicious than some of the men wrestlers. I've never seen anyone better in women's wrestling than the Bomb Angel. McMahon, I got a question for you. What's that? What's the name for the two Bomb Angels? Uh, unfortunately, I, I can't speak Japanese all that well. I mean, I might want to date later tonight. What do I call them? A Bomb Angel? It's their game. And I believe Norio. What's her name? If I'm pronouncing it correctly, it's Norino. Norino, that sounds Italian to me. Well, that's the I don't know. She don't look Italian. Oh, she doesn't. Wait a minute. Kind of reminds me of me. Yes, it reminds me of you as well. What arrogance. That's called confidence. Oh, that's arrogance. That's not confidence. I wonder what would mean more, winning the Jesse the Body Award or a victory? Well, I think they're both in their own way just as big. Being the winner of the Jesse the Body Award is phenomenal. And I mean, you'd love to win it. But then again, looking at your body, we can tell why you wouldn't. But well, then again, wrestling is the bottom line. He's probably jealous he didn't win the Jesse the Body Award. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even nominated. Oh, uh, not to get all the nominations he wanted. That's true. Now, here's a man that's put together. Really put together. When you compare Jesse to Bobby's physique, years ago even, that's like comparing Bruce Miller to Chris Pratt. Or, or, or kind of like me comparing my body to yours right now. I right? have a coach down one these days. It's time to show his fans the appreciation he feels. Well, see, this is all this is all psychological here. His style of match is to his advantage. It's very well made in this particular contest. Look at this. That we're gonna find out here real quick. What advantage do you obtain by talking to your opponent like that? The advantage is a psych-out advantage. You'll see it in boxing, you'll see it in football, you see it in wrestling. If you can get your opponent to think about what you're saying to them, well, then obviously they're not going to react so well to the heat of the battle. Again, the fans try to give a little momentum. Mr. Bostic Brown picking up the chair. Weasel popping the brand handle doesn't like it at all. You find that totally funny, don't you? You like that sometimes. Oh, really? Of course, you're an embarrassment all the time, anyway, to me. Well, thank you, Jesse. You would, McMahon. You're the only one who would. Why do you continue to laugh at Bobby Heenan? He deserves to be laughed at. He laughs at enough people on his own. I'll tell you this if it gets down to managers, I'll take Heenan over Elizabeth in my corner anytime. Bobby the Brain Heenan, whom we, of course, saw a little bit earlier on. Don't you got a hand with the Heenan McMahon? The inspiration outside the ring. Don't you agree, McMahon? By the way, one in half in hands here, Jack Piper, Mr. Arena. Coming up to your reputation, that's fine. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back as we continue with more World Wrestling Federation action. One, three, 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 three,
Honey, you can't take the nuts and honey. Oh, Hogan doesn't eat nuts and honey. Did you taste this? It's an unbeatable part of this nutritious breakfast. That's better than a body slam. Undefeated. And still champion. <laughs> Now watch me wish the Macho Man with the claim for WrestleMania for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Electra, an elbow smash, a body slam! WWF WrestleMania from a claim. Oh yeah, I want a rematch. You gotta love new WWF figures with real wrestling action. Take the Snake Roberts versus the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Yeah. DiBiase lands a million dollar punch. Match Hulk Hogan against the Macho King, Randy Savage. Oh yeah, my elbow smash will finish Hogan guaranteed. Hogan slams him again. Match Andre the Giant against the Ultimate Warrior. Andre will squash the Ultimate Warrior. WWF figures so close to the real thing, it's like being in the ring. Some of the Hulkamaniacs' favorite moves are on WWF Primetime Wrestling. Catch them on USA, America's favorite cable network. All right, we are back for the resumption of our match. Let's talk about what you claim was a world bench press record at 712 pounds. Right, what do you want me to talk about? Let's talk a little bit about it, Justin. Dino Bravo, who did not in my view set the world bench press mark, although you claim he did. What are you talking about? Well, you're not saying Dino Bravo is a champion, are you? You're not saying he actually lifted that weight? He did 715. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you not reach down and help him with that weight rack? Did you not? No, I was just spotting him close. I did not close my hands around that bar. There's space in between that Bravo pushed it up on his own. Are you questioning my integrity, McMahon? Listen, I'm only telling you the way it looked. It looked as though you helped him a bit. First of all, a person of your stature knows nothing about weightlifting. Nothing. So therefore, you do not know what constitutes a legal lift. I know that when you put your hands around the bar, you I did not touch the bar. You what? I did not touch the bar until it was extended. Then I grabbed it. You know, McMahon, if you keep making these assumptions, these unfounded assumptions, you might be involved in a rumble right here at the desk. Uh, yeah, when's the last time you had a fist sandwich? Jesse, it seemed to me that Mr. Bravo was having a little difficulty there in the last lift before he attempted to set the world record. What was that lift? Do you recall? That lift was approximately around 685, 675 pounds. That's an awesome lift, definitely. He just barely got that up. No, he got that up. And let me state for the record, what, McMahon, you, wait a minute. I did, did not the... help on that lift. Did you see the 685-pound lift? Did you see how on the right shoulder, Jesse, it was further down? The bar was dipping down on the right side. He obviously had more power on the left. He almost didn't make it back to the rack. But he did make it back to the rack. I okay. helped it back to the rack. Yes. And at 715, I did not assist in that lift, McMahon. Wait a minute. You're saying that he totally locked out, which would be a legal lift, correct? Definitely. You're saying he totally locked out, and then you assisted him with the lift. I was right down there prepared in case he didn't. But I did not offer any assistance. It'll on remain, I'm sure, an official and Two. unofficial world bench press. Three, Mark. Well, well that, I would expect, yeah, I would expect that five, man. A little twinky, like oh, he's never done anything athletic in his life. If we'd have been up there reading prose or poetry, you would have been ecstatic Two. about that. But being in physical Three. competition and strength, you know nothing about that. Listen, I thought it was boring. Did you ever get the official weight on that bar? Have they weighed the bar yet? Ooh, the word that I heard, and this is still unofficial, I heard the bar weighed out at 712. You know, because some of those big plates could be off by half a pound. And I heard it weighed out at 712. Well, Jesse, with your assistance on the bar, I think you did not assist. With your assistance, I think maybe it'll go down in the record books, yes, as a record, but for a tag team record. Bravo lifting 712. They don't have a man team weight with me. I think we just saw it. I don't think so. Of course, you know, McMahon, I really should not mind you so much. You being an Ivy Leaguer, you know, the biggest thing in sports in the Ivy League was probably goldfish eating. You know, that's top of the line for the Ivy League. So, uh, come on, we got high school teams, right? Come on, the beat down, really? Yeah. The Lord.
Lowell Memorial Auditorium in Lowell, Mass. will be the setting for World Wrestling Federation action on Wednesday, October 15th with a 7.30 p.m. starting time. Signed to appear on the card will be the Birdman, Coco Beware. The Honky Talk Man, Kamala, the Ugandan Headhunter. Hercules Hernandez, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Jake the Snake Roberts. All headed to Lowell at the Auditorium on Wednesday, October 15th. couldn't tell. It certainly looked that way from my vantage. You know, your eyes have gotten very, very good in the last few weeks. You're seeing a lot of stuff I'm like not. I don't think you want to see it. You can see all that from back here. Well, it looks like it from there. You must have 20 20 here. Nice maneuver. A legal maneuver. Legal and beautiful maneuver. He is cut. He's had one lucky move go his way. Let me tell you something, great man. Luck is not going to win this match. You don't know that. It will be skill on the part of either wrestler, not luck. This has been more of a brawling match than a wrestling match. And that's the thing I said at the outset. aren't winning, you always blame the referee. It makes me sick. It would be a shame if a match of this consequence, of this significance, ended in a controversial decision from the referee. Aren't you excited, McMahon? The Rougeau's now from Memphis, Tennessee. I don't think there's anything at all to get excited about, and if I lived in Memphis, I definitely would not be excited. Don't forget Elvis quick now. What a great, great matchup this is. See saw matchup back and forth. He does get his opponent's attention, don't he? Don't he? That's what I said. He don't he? attention as well. Oh. oh, come on. He was a little slow in the park. Hey, that's your referee, Morello. Won't be to you to criticize a ref. You know, the fortunate thing we have oh, is that it only one. takes a three count to win a match because referee Joey Morella, I don't think, can make it to four. He's capable of three, but I don't think much after that. You can see, though, it's taken its hold. He's not moving real quick, but he's still measuring up. It's had to have taken its hold on both wrestlers. He needs to go for the cover. He's got to go for the cover. He's wasting too much time. He'll try anything. As well, he should try anything, McMahon. You're going to do whatever it takes. I think that's a mistake. It's definitely a mistake. Big mistake there. I'll agree with you, McMahon. Big mistake. 